Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, I'm so happy we are together again. And it's the end of the week, it's Friday, uh, February the 2nd, 2018. And I'm just so excited with this message. Um, I, like I was saying with the other ones, I think it's all tying in together and it's all building to um, make sense of all this puzzle. And we're gonna be able to pull back and see the whole picture. Um, so I don't wanna take a lot of your time because it's a lot of information. But I want to um, shed some light on you that I think we are tying up or finishing up Revelation 12. I don't think we really finished it. Um, the way that makes sense in the timeline of humanity. Um, but I think it, it actually has and it takes us back to France. Okay, so just to kind of go over a little bit of information that we've already talked about, but briefly, I don't want to waste your time. Uh, take up too much of your time. Um, but yes, because this information is um, vital and it works with everything. Okay, so the apostles that were remaining after Jesus left were um, ostracized and and brutalized and um, uh, accused of crimes and finally they just got rid of them and they put them on a boat and they with no sail, no um, oars, just adrift and they ended up in the shores of Marseille, France. And I found this um, picture which I thought was remarkable because there's no oars and it looks ancient, it looks like an artifact and I don't know where it's from but there's no oars, there's no sail and it does show an anchor but they're they're just on a boat, people on a boat. And from our discovery, there is a rich history of Christianity in France, which because they, um, when the apostles and disciples of Christ came there, they were accepted by the people who were already there. So you, you have to assume that um, their, their ancestors, there's ancestry of Christianity, original Christianity, in France. Okay, so um, the taste is to today. Um, I was going through my subscriptions and I'm subscribed to Paul Bagley's channel on YouTube and I see this, it says Breaking, this is his channel, uh, li uh, library, uh, it says Breaking. Sinking, sinkhole opens and I wanted you because I wanted you to see the sinkhole that is crazy but if you can see the sinkhole it's on the beach and there's water but it can you can look at the top um, left that's the ocean that or excuse me that's the French Riviera that's water so a sinkhole opened up right next to the water to the river um, so I wanted to show that and I will leave a link to this video um, it's very interesting but this happened in Nice France and so my mind went how close is Nice to Marseille Marseille is the town which they believe the disciples um, landed when their boat arrived to France okay so I looked it up and uh, from Marseille to Nice it's 128 miles um, which there's also a beautiful scripture I looked up in uh, Psalms 128 about just it's beautiful about the children of God and um, the love they have for Israel so I just I thought I'd add that uh, 128 but it's a pretty decent distance so I thought okay well it's not that close but is there something in Nice I need to pay attention to and I came to Revelation 12 verse 16 but the earth helped the woman and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of its mouth and I thought oh wait whoa Revelation 12 we're going back to um, this Revelation 12 this is the other part after um, the birth of the child and the woman has to flee and I thought oh oh we're still in Revelation 12 this is the end this is the wrap-up 
So that sinkhole made me think of the woman who fled, um, you know, once the dragon was going to attack her. So I went back. Okay, so I went back to Revelation 12, and I believe this is verse um, 13. Um, so this talks about after uh, the woman... Um, uh, had birth to the child and the dragon um, had been cast down to the earth um, he he saw that the woman and he went after her and she was given two wings like a great eagle and I want to stop there really quick because we have a, um, a blessed child of God Audra from friend of God channel and she has been seeing eagles and I just thought as soon as I read this I thought oh that's a connection and a confirmation to Audra um, with all the blessings she's been getting with this eagle she's been seeing eagles so um, maybe this is the eagle that the woman had been given the wings um, then the next is um, the woman had to flee from the dragon Okay, so the woman has fled. She got the because she got her wings, and she's headed toward the wilderness. And she was there for time, times, and a half a time. And I thought, ancient, or yeah, biblical ancient France probably was trees and wooded. It probably looked like the wilderness, you know, right up to the coast. Um, and then also, um, it says that the serpent. Um, so she's resting. Uh, so the serpent um, is just still trying to attack her, and he does a mighty flood. Uh, France suffered a great flood, I believe, in 2016. And uh, here's a news article um, about it, but it was it was devastating for them because it, it was nothing that they ever expected. But they got this major flood. And for them, it's actually quoted in here that someone uh, says the second paragraph down, or I guess it's the third, it says, it's apocalyptic. That's the words they used. Um, so you can pause it, and it's just a little clip um, of one of the articles. But they didn't expect this and just came out of nowhere. And it reminded me of the, the dragon spewing the water to flood out the woman that he was upset with. Okay, so now that the serpent has spewed out this water to carry this woman away in a flood, the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and causing the water to drain out. Um, it, it, it just, sorry. <laughs> But I just thought, these are all things that's happening in France. And I wouldn't know because I live in America. But we've, we, we're having all of these things that are biblical. They ha it, was, it happened in a long period of time. But it's all in the lines of Scripture. Okay, so now the dragon sees that all the water that he had spewed out to flood out the woman was swallowed up by the earth. And then the woman was, um, um, she was able to flee. So now the dragon is mad and he wants to um, make war with her, with her offspring. So let's go back a little bit. So the woman flees. I believe that that's also happened in France. Uh, they've had in France several terroristic attacks and I believe it's like I want to say like 40 um, different attacks some bombs some stabbings um, this one is a car that just drove people down um, the soldiers down uh, who were just standing they were just standing on the side of the road and they it was it was August of 2017 that just happened um, so I believe these are the attacks that the dragon is speaking of 
Um, and because of these attacks on the offspring of the disciples and the apostles that were there from ancient times when the crucifixion of Christ happened and uh, they were set adrift, um, I believe that these are the attacks on the offspring because they are direct descendants of the disciples. Um, okay, so because of these attacks, the French Jews fled to Israel. So here's an article and it talks about the people who left France and it was their choice to leave and to immigrate to Israel. So they fled like the woman fled. I just think it's amazing. It just and it's all it's all like worked out. Sure, it's in a long line, but it's in the timeline of humanity that I think we get we we think it should be A B C D or you know one two three four. But God doesn't work on a human you know, humanity's timeline. He puts things in place the way that they need to be in place so it all works. So, yeah, the timeline might be askew. It might be 2016 or 2017 or 2018 with the sinkhole. But the sinkhole was one of, you know, it, it was the ground opened up. A mouth opened right next to the water, right next to the river. And it's in Nice, France, where the flood happened. They had a flood. And it says that the, the dragon spewed out his water and um, spewed out water and tried to flood out the woman. It's, it just, I, I, I might be, I just, I'm sorry. I'm all, I'm all flustered because I just think it's amazing. The Bible is true. And I believe that we are at the very end of Revelations 10, 12, uh, verse 12, 10 through 17. Um, okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I just think it's amazing. We got the sign of the stars. And then we we're all like, okay, what's next? But it, it was all in play. It was all in play. There was a flood. Or it was um, a terrorist attack uh, on the people. There was... Um, um, a sinkhole that happened you know all these things the, the, the French um, Jews left to Israel I mean all these things it just uh, yes it's not in our backyard here in America and we don't get international news but I just thought it was amazing that the Lord gave me all this from the sinkhole and from the France I've been he's been giving me France lately okay so this is actually in the article and I thought it was really beautiful from Isaiah 43 5 through 6 do not be afraid for I am with you I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west I will say to the north give them up and to the south do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Isn't that beautiful? God is saying, give me my people now. Give me my people. I'm with you and I'm going to gather you all up. He's going, he's saying, it's in his word. It's already been written. He's going to gather us all up. It's time. He's starting to gather his children up. Okay. I love you all. And God loves you more. This is exciting times. We're seeing that the Bible is true. And that we were already given the celestial brilliance, glory, majesty, mighty, God showed us that Revelation 12 sign in the stars. And I believe he tied it all up with these actions that are happening in France, with our brothers and sisters in Christ. The next is Revelations 13. 
and that's when the the beast comes out of the water let me show you the scripture okay revelations 13 verse 1 and I stood upon the sands of the sea and saw a beast arise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns and upon his heart oh excuse me on his heads the names of blasphemy that's why I read Isaiah first because God loves us and he is gathering us up because what's coming next is a nightmare so he loves us and he's letting us know he's preparing us so we can be ready I don't know I don't know maybe uh, I don't know but this is what I was led to this is the word I got um, Revelation 12 isn't finished um, it wasn't so much a word that I heard but it was that's exactly where I was led to and it was like yes yes Lord I get what you're telling me what you're showing me that Revelation 12 is now complete and we're moving forward God loves you and so do I please take care and may God bless you all